This is the uh, Churchkirk uh, Rarid Office. It was installed in uh, 1909. It's made by heated glass called uh, Opus Sectile and it's uh, depicting Jesus Christ. Uh, and there's a few more panels uh, either side. Uh, they are massive panels and they are in memory of uh, Frederick Gatti who was uh, living at Elmfield Hall at the time, um, in memory of him, uh, and it's been paid for by, it was paid for by his children in 1909 when it was installed, and uh, it's a great piece of artwork uh, made by um, James Powell of Whitefire Friars Glass, uh, located at London. Uh, it's amazing artwork here at St James Church Creek. Superb artwork. Uh, it cost £550 at the time of installing it, and uh, now it equates to thousands and thousands of pounds. Uh, could be as much as £65,000. And just on the wall here is the uh, brass plaque. Uh, the church is empty now. And, uh, Rough plaque which tells you all about its date and who paid for this memorial of Frederick Gatti. It's a great piece of history installed into this church at the time. Thank you. This is another uh, great piece of artwork. Um, I can't find any signature on this video, on this uh, painting, but it's uh, dedicated to Joseph Barnes of Clayton Limoux. Uh, it was uh, given to the church in 1911 by his, uh, like I said, his children. And Joseph Barnes um, was a coal master and uh, he was involved in calico printing early early days but then he went into coal mining and he had a couple of pits uh, around the church one at Copper Clough and uh, he made quite a bit of money and a big in influence in the uh, calico printing industry and uh, it's uh, an amazing scene I think it's of uh, the burial of Christ is this scene and uh, it would be good to find out uh, who it's been painted by. Uh, I apologise for the uh, shaking of the camera, but I'm not going to try to put on there. Uh, but it's a stunning piece of artwork and it's a huge painting. Uh, it must be four foot by three foot wide, something like that. And this is in Church Kirk, St James which we are trying to save. Uh, thank you. This is the uh, medieval font um, donated by the uh, Abbot of Worley, John Paslew, 
uh, which was the abbot uh, roughly in the 1500s uh, in the dissolution of the monasteries um, and then he was sadly uh, um, killed by the uh, the civil in the civil war uh, dissolution of monasteries and you can see it's been defaced uh, by civil war uh, because this church was a, a big influence in at the time and uh, there was a, it was an ammunition store yeah. so uh, um, as you can see it's a, a medieval uh, piece of uh, history uh, so uh, you can see, see there's a big uh, crack and the defacing they just uh, deface all the figures that was probably depicted on the side of the uh, the front uh, so it's a bit of a shame but it's still here at St James Church Kirk. thank you this is the uh, the view uh, from the gallery it's a huge gallery uh, that extends the full length of the church uh, and then round uh, in a U shape and back round to uh, the front uh, as you can see and uh, it's an awesome arch which shows the windows and the reridos at the end in its height it must have been an awesome sight to be up here looking down at this great arch and artwork and uh, it's very dark at the moment with, no, with only bits of lighting so uh, you'll have to just excuse me for that but probably when it was lit up and the sunlight was coming through um, would have been an awesome sight and noise from that organ at the end uh, the organ was <coughs> paid for by, by Robert Peel the second baronet uh, as a gift uh, £26 pound, uh, was paid it's covered up now because uh, to preserve it um, and then it was uh, cleaned in 1980s for £13,000 but uh, as you can see it's an awesome site just being stood up here looking across Church Kirk and up for the one there we can open it up again for people to see there's a tower of course stands twice as high it stands far out than even the pitch roof it's twice as high the tower's twice as high the tower's twice as high the I'm going to start the descent so of the church tower. Ah! Oh, watch your head. I've never actually been up here myself, so this is a first time for me. I need to spread out, it's too many. Yeah? Here. Okay. Wow! This was actually where this uh, club that came here was actually Lancashire Bell Ringers. Yeah. Because I have the uh, the book. When you go down, I'll get Ian to come up and show him something. Yeah, I'll go down because it's uh, it looks okay to me. This good. 
We need to go up the other stairs now. You say it's nearly a thousand year old. So can we go further up? Yeah, up, yeah, up there, uh, David. Yeah. Up there, up that narrow staircase. Have fun, take care. Up here, David. Yeah. Ian, do you want to come up? Yeah, please. Just uh, join David's staff spiral staircase. Yeah, you're okay. It's all right. I'll just do it rough, rough and ready. I mean, yeah, get, get, you carry on getting footage. Yeah. Thing with the arch. Yeah, obviously I romanticised how well it was built. Yeah, but that but looks like it's been repaired as well. Recently. Yeah. It's plaster work above it. Well, mortar above it in it. So what I'm interested is because when we redesign this building there's no doubt in my mind that's coming out yes. yeah right all, that come, that all, yeah. all comes out but that takes us into the church but where does it take us because you know well there is a damp can't it, exactly measure there's a damp patch isn't there so it I, could I'm, be that i'm just trying to gauge what it is from is that a landing area is that the actual floor no it's a landing area yeah it goes round so I want to gauge. Well, the spiral staircase is in here. Yeah, yeah, it's encased in there. I mean, to be honest, I'm still recording. You knock that out for DDA compliance. You put new floors in here, which isn't difficult. You have a restaurant or whatever you want. Beautiful. What? Studio. These? Oh, no. Beautiful sat there. Yeah. You know, restaurant, cafe, bar area. Still recording. With, the, with your entrance there. Yeah. Out, out the yeah. or, or, or down uh, your reception Absolutely area. Absolutely, either, yeah. Either, either or. DDA compliant. You'd probably think about putting a lift, if you did put a lift in the other, on the other side, the other side of the tower, so that you just come up and swing round and in. An external, That's one. external glass lift. Yeah. They're not expensive. No, on the on the inside of the church. But yeah. That's why I'm interested to know when that breaks through. That's why I was trying to say on the on the upper floor of the balcony, where does that break through? There is a patch on that left hand side, right hand side. In fact, I'll tell you what I've just done, I've just pushed a brick through, actually, but it came through at floor level. Uh, because when I came down the stairs, yeah, it's here. So I do know to a degree uh, that, do you know when you go up the stairs and then you go on Here we are, uh, St James Church Kirk, we're just uh, going up the tower and this is quite a narrow staircase so I'm going to struggle with that mud. <laughs> Back my head, so, and then we go up. Tower. This is the first time again for me. I'm going up this tower. So I need to be careful.
Ne bu? Ya. <gülüyor> This is one I over climb. No, I've never been up. It gets better. That's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're on the third floor now. But this third? Floor, this floor could be lowered. It could, could, could be lowered. I just want to recognize that. Yeah. Wow. In fact, you wouldn't need to worry about positions of floors because the walls are so sort of thick. But, uh, yeah, it's just about even height and usage in the future when it's redesigned. Why did they make it so small? Well, because it was never used for any other purpose. That's your roof. Yeah. Right. There's a walk board on the left. I've been right along. Now, somebody's put red brick in here, and this, is, this looks quite recent. I presume that was when the roof was done. Do you want to go through, Gary? Yeah. Alright, the walk board. So be careful. Yeah. So, where does that go right across the church? So we're now looking across the roof the same gym. It's a bit dark so let's try and get you some light. You can see it vastly cold. Right, you can just see some joints and beans there, but it goes about another 50, 80, 100 foot back. Uh, we've not much light in here, so I do apologise for that. But this is above the church kirk area, uh, ceiling. <coughs> And uh, I'll head back because uh, it's not very. Are you alright, Gary? Yeah, okay, yeah. Be careful. Just yeah, watch myself. And uh, I'll head back. These these beams here are the cross beams. These ones. Right. Okay. What you see underneath. Right. Yeah, and these trusses are the ones that I mentioned. That the, the, the member that you see below is, a, is 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 an extension below this. Right. All oh, right, yeah. So this is the main. And you look at the if you look between the rafters, these people have, have, have jointed them. Yeah, they have. So put roof roof help on. Yeah. So they've done a really good job of well, restoring this. Uh, are these the original timbers then? Yeah. Are these the original timbers? What? Well, it's hard to say what they are. Yeah. They're quite old though. They're old. Yeah. But and they're on anchors, so one would assume that they did use metal anchors at the end. Metal anchors at the end. Right. But what are the bolts? The bolts look they look new to the bolts, don't they? Yeah, they do. So I think that work's been done. Yeah. Right. We'll see you later, and uh, we'll carry on. Thank you. We are now inside the belfry of uh, Church Kirk. And this is just showing the uh, bells that are here. I think, are these the Pendlebury bells that were given to the church? Uh, the latest edition. Uh, how many bells are there? Ten? Is it a peel of ten? One across and two and two. Eight, isn't it? Eight, yeah. It's in the... Uh, the blue book. Uh, I think the pen will but I'm not sure how to uh, clarify that. But this is a, a great site to be up here. Not many people have been up here in the last 20, 20 or so years. Must have uh, left it down there uh, on the floor as well, yeah. There's not a lot of light, uh, but we're just about managing. Uh, is there a name on there? Oh, they're London. Warner and Sons. Ah, oh, that name's in the book. That's a lot. The Warner and Sons. And the badge as well. 
these these are massive bells, aren't they? Look at the size of them. I don't like want them to drop on my foot. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Not some light. I have a bit of light, but not not loads. No. Right. We'll move on to the next level. You can't. Upper. Right, we're just on the top of St James's Tower and uh, as you can see the weather is not helping very windy, raining, wet, proper Lancashire weather and we're looking right across the town that's Express Gifts we'll just go back again that's uh, Church Street, Top Park, Library uh, Earl Mill, sorry William Blythe's uh, that's where the explosion were, Cortone Works to the side and that's the uh, canal that goes round uh, so just go up and move round we have a walk round the curve because it's very slippery and wet after today's rain and then you can see the new estate looking very nice there. Just go around slowly again. Quite a few houses, about 50 houses on that. And then all the terraced houses further looking into Eppington. Uh, the, the corners here had uh, pointed structures, but they took them down for health and safety, I think. Uh, and this is just showing some of the uh, sculpturing on the corner there and then we'll go back round on this side uh, towards Duncan House uh, and then this other corner in uh, then this is St James's Mews down the lot and the old farm in the background in Duncan House just over there and then the canal that snakes right round right around this side there's the other part uh, and that's where we are and then my friend Graham taking some pictures on the other side it's quite rough you a smile, Graham. <laughs> it's bloody awful weather. <laughs> Never mind, we'll be up again, so we'll do some more videos. The camera's getting quite wet now. It's still on a miserable day. You can see right across the coppice uh, and Spire Farm. The uh, Church Kirk and Spire Farm were probably linked uh, with the uh, the Civil War maybe when they were lighting beacons and you could easily see each other right across there it's about six mile five six mile something like four five six mile six mile you, you can't actually see it now because it's a bad day but the tower spire farm is just over there uh, on the hillside uh, and the coppice Accrington uh, Dill all Lane goes right round there and then graveyard and all. Uh, we'll do some more videos when the weather's a bit better. Uh, so we'll see you later. Bye bye. This is uh, just showing 
the uh, farmer Ralph's farm uh, on the track which runs all the way up to uh, Bullhead Bridge uh, River Ironman in the bottom there which runs right round to the uh, old farm uh, uh, and right across um, this was once a reservoir uh, Aspen Valley it is and then you can see the railway railway just there and also uh, and then back round to that area was called Tom Knitter Bridge uh, Bleach Works but now it's uh, that's Walker Steel actually that Walker Steel uh, are operating and then a little bit further on is William Blythe just further up the hill uh, and we've got our own mill uh, and uh, there we have it this is the, the just showing the, the height that's a thorning pub uh, just showing the height of the tower that we're up uh, how high would you say it is? Very high. 100, 250 feet, more than that. 